Hello and welcome to this video review for Kabam's new mobile game, Transformers Forge to Fight. This game was released officially by Kabam today on, uh, it's April 5th, 2017, but it's been available in beta now for a couple months, I think all the way back to November. But anyway, the uh, this game is a, a fighting game, kind of in the theme of a Mortal Kombat or a Street Fighter, um, or even from a Kabam perspective, a Marvel Contest of Champions. As a matter of fact, if you're familiar with Contest of Champions, you'll, you'll see a ton of similarities between the games. But anyway, let's get started with the review. So what you're seeing here is kind of like a home page um, where you can then easily get access to a lot of the different areas of the game, get a quick overview of how much energy you have in the upper, uh, upper bar here in the, in the center. And then to the right, you see how much gold and it fluctuates with your alliance chips as well as uh, how much uh, energon cubes you have, which is basically kind of like, a, if you're familiar again with Contest of Champions, it was like 30 minutes. And the lower half, or I should say the lower part of the screen, you see kind of like the top stories that Kabam has wanted to talk about. So I like to cross those just to kind of see some of the different things that the game has to offer. But then again, the main menu here, and you can select it by the, uh, on the left upper corner, you see the air, the, the three lines in the arrow pointing down. You click that, you can see your main menu. From here, you can go to your base. And the base is kind of almost like a graphical representation of the main menu get back to it by if you look on the right hand side there the icon of the, the robot of the transform you can select that and bring you back here that's why I haven't found a ton of use yet really with the uh, the Alliance other than because I can get a lot of the things just by going back to uh, the menu etc now bots bots is kind of like the list of all the transformers you've already collected so you can see here all the different transformers I have available for me and um, mods and relics which um, as the further you progress in the game you'll see then you also have an in inventory where it shows all the different like this is the energy or 13 which is the way you basically upgrade or level up all the different players you all the different um, transformers you have then you have sparks used to make up your bots so this is like once you level them up and you want to go to a different rank you'll use sparks there will be and this again something very similar to contest of champions you'll have kind of generic sparks and class specific sparks um, sparks and then you have items like um, energy refills which is um, this one right here you also have ways to upgrade to repair your transformers during missions versus having to stop and start all over kind of thing but again, kind of going back to class, as you can see, with each bot, each each transformer, they, they belong to a specific class. And um, selecting Bumblebee here, you'll see that it's um, this class um, right here, which I believe is Tactician. Um, and similar to um, Contest of Champions, each class has a class that it's at, it has an advantage against, and then one that it has a disadvantage against. So. And then you have the inventory, and then there's the fight. We'll go to that fight um, options last, as we'll actually jump into some different ones. But then again, you have alliance, so this is you can join eight uh, different alliances, so you can get additional rewards, addition, additional activities. Uh, alliances are made up of about 18 folks, and this seems like a pretty decent setup. And then lastly, you have crystals, which are the kind of the main way that you get additional robots. So if you're familiar with Contest of Champions, you're going to see that this is very similar to what they did um, in that game as well. And then you even have premium bot crystals. So again, if you're familiar with Contest of Champions, you know those are the ultimate letdown crystals because you can get a rank 2 all the way to a rank 4 um, character and as we know, those typically will give you rank twos, but um, I'm assuming the same kind of uh, drop rate. But I actually have six crystals that I've already gathered, and we'll go through um, using those here shortly as well. And lastly, of course, even though it is a in quotes free game, um, there's ways for Gabam to make money, or else you know they wouldn't just release it for the betterment of humanity. They need to make some cash, and this is a place they do it. And of course, also with the um, with the Energon store, this is where really a lot of their money is made. And similarly to Contest of Champions, when that game was released, or if you installed it for the first time, you would be given a number of kind of bonus offers at the beginning. Um, this one says Apple exclusives, so I'm guessing, you know, um, on the Google Store side of things, they, they may have a similar offer. 
but at least on the iOS side of things you have this Apple exclusive where you can get a one star, two star, or three star Ultra Magnus. Um, it'll be interesting to see, comparing again to uh, Contest of Champions, if Ultra Magnus is kind of only available through this ex exclusive offer and then, you know, won't be made available, you know, if at all during, you know, through the rest of the gameplay. That'll be similar to the um, Deadpool, the uh, traditional Deadpool, the red Deadpool, if you will, not the white Deadpool in Contest of Champions where, you know, when you first joined the game, you had the option to buy a two-star or three-star, and then I think they only made the four-star available like once via one of the arenas, and no one's seen it since. So I, if that's the case, I might end up getting the three-star just to have add it to my, uh, to my bots list, but uh, we'll, we'll wait to see on that one. But anyway, um, so that's kind of a quick overview, quick view overall. It, it, I'm a fan of the Contest of Champions, so similarly, because it's so closely related, this game is so closely related to that one, I, I do like the setup. It's, it's easy to go through, it's easy to play, and um, when we actually get into the fight scenes here in a second, I, I really like that as well. So let's jump into the fights now. Again, since I've joined Alliance, I have Alliance missions, and there's like and then the ability to fight other Alliances, so like Alliance War, Alliance Quest, that seems to be in there. Then you have raids and arenas. Now raid seems to be like a new thing, almost kind of like versus in Contest of Champions, where you go off and, and raid a specific vers uh, a specific uh, user, another user, that kind of thing. Now I have, as you can see, it's locked for me, so I haven't had a chance to play that yet, So, but I'm pretty interested to see how that one works. Arenas, I suspect, are going to be very similar, and it's, if that's the case, this will be a place that I do a lot of grinding. As the crafty grinder, I'll be in there grinding quite a bit because I'm assuming this will be a way to really um, progress through the game, get additional characters, additional transformers, etc. Then you have the specials, which will be opening to me soon, so this will probably be like the monthly quests that you go through, and then daily quests, which will probably be the way to get the sparks, which will then allow me to rank up um, all of my robots, so our transformers. But then story, now this is very similar, again, to Contest of Champions. And if you, and it, you'll, you'll hear me keep on drawing a ton of comparisons because, again, almost the games seem <laughs> really close. Um, the way they're developed, the, the differences, you know, the intellectual property of Transformers versus Marvel. So if you like Transformers and you liked Contest of Champions, you're going to probably like this game. But anyway, just to show you what the gameplay looks like, I've already progressed a little bit with Act 1, Chapter 1. But let's go ahead and jump in here to show you what it looks like. There is some differences in the gameplay, um, and you'll see that here shortly. One of the things, it's kind of like a nice to have, it wasn't nothing major because it's not a huge part of the game, but the way you actually travel the quest maps or the story maps, it's, you know, before you always kind of had that top-down look, now you kind of have that 3D, I'm running through it kind of thing. So now I'm in the map, I can kind of scroll around to see, as you can see I'm playing Bumblebee, as he is the three star that I, I actually purchased with one of those earlier offers. So I can run up, select one, get a little story. And what's even funny with the that you see through this story, it's it's kind of similar to even the Contest of Champions. I almost expected the Collector to show up and say, I'm collecting Transformers now instead of uh, Champions from the Marvel Universe, because it's like these, these multiple universes, multi-universes, multiverses, if you will, and they keep on grabbing all these different robots you have to fight. And we're still discovering who's behind it all, so it's not necessarily the Collector, but you know what? Given the, the similarity between the two games, I wouldn't be surprised if the collector makes an appearance. But anyway, we'll go ahead and get started so you can see some of this gameplay. Um, so the fight actually lasts a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take Barricade. Otherwise, with Bumblebee, I'd wipe through the lane pretty quick here. So let's go ahead and start this fight. So again, the gameplay is very similar to Contest of Champions, and if you're familiar with other uh, street street fighting but fighting games like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat you see the women on the horizon field fighting but what I do like is I have the ability to go up and down and kind of change a little bit the, the way which also you can go back and do some range fighting and then of course you 
Oh, she's got a special. What I like is that that evading back or dodging back feature, and then going up, it helps you quite a bit to get a different attack range in. So I'll go back. And you can see they have bleed, stun capabilities. And then your strong attack, you actually transform. So you have similar kind of light and medium attacks. Um, similar to Contest of Champions, and then you also can do five combos. I didn't get into too many combos there, but I was trying to show some of the different play, but you have the ability to do the light, 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 medium, medium, strike combos. Um, you saw me actually to be able to kind of evade back, if you will, and then do um, projectile laser beam shots, if you will. All, all the robots have the capability to do that, and then your your strong strikes you actually transform to whatever your whatever vehicle you turn into whether it's a car plane or whatever so that's the kind of gameplay so again a lot of similarities but I think you know with the ability to go up and down to evade the shots um, that's new and um, but in general that there's a lot of similarities which being a fan of the other game it's it's okay and I actually like this and probably growing up as a Transformers fan more than Marvel um, the intellectual property and any of the ability to get those characters is also very enjoyable so and that's some of the gameplay I wanted to show let's jump into crystals and uh, we'll do a quick crystal opening as part of this so um, let's go ahead and start with Fush for sure we know we're getting the one star and then we'll leave the two what I'm assuming to be the let down crystal premium bots but uh, uh, the premium crystals but anyway so we'll select the first here, see who we get. I do like, you know, similarly here you can see the different options that are coming up. I'm getting ready to do the back. Okay, so we can all show you. First time I've got him as you can see. I'm assuming you'll have the ability to dupe a, a uh, character like you can in the Contest of Champions, but we'll see. Similar again to Conquest of Champion, even the way this whole crystal thing works. <laughs> Very important. Bone Crusher again? Yeah, the three Bone Crushers. So, do to three times, or two times with some additional or Alright. There we go. So, let's see. Okay, let's go to the premium bot crystals, I suspect. You can get the. Uh, you can get the yes the top prize so a four star wind blade would be nice bone crusher well right now on a bone crusher roll so maybe i'll pull that again but let's see let's open what we have we do now again if this is anywhere close to contest the champion which it has been so far i suspect these to be the the let down crystals but let's see i, I might be pleasantly surprised the first one maybe they tantalize you with look at all those threes and four stars, but in reality, the two stars will probably be about Ooh, yeah, two stars, two stars. Oh, Ratchet, no, actually, I got the one star Ratchet, so that's the first two star Ratchet I have. Alright, and let's go to the last one. So, and no big shocker here, the uh, the premium crystals <laughs> delivered on the two stars as expected. No no big shocker there. Um, you 
you'll see on the crystal side of things, they do have three star and four star crystals. So those are going to be the reliable way, and similarly, they're in shard format. So you, you collect your shards, and you're good to go. And then you can get the four star, and three star. And we, uh, <laughs> coming from Contest of Champions, very familiar with the letdown. <laughs> so we're not surprised with the letdown factor of the premium bot crystal. So don't. Don't go off, and if you're new to either one of these games, don't go off and use all your your um, units in uh, Contest of Champions or all your Electron here in, uh, or Energon, I should say, Energon here in uh, Forge to Fight on uh, Premium Bot Crystals. Do not waste them because, unless of course you're looking for two stars, then hey, congratulations, you'll get one. But anyway, this is my video review for the new uh, Transformers Forge to Fight. If you liked it, um, please feel free to um, like the video and subscribe. Or if you have any thoughts or feedback, questions, whatever, feel free to throw those into the comments as well. Other than that, thanks for stopping by and have a great day.